welcome to today's video uh, in this video i'm going to continue looking at ratio and proportion and in today's video i'm going to look at writing ratios from the pie chart writing ratios from pie charts so in this video i'm going to demonstrate how you can write ratios from pie charts so watch this video up to the end as i'm going to show you how you can come up with ratios from a pie chart okay with that being said let's get into today's lesson so in today's lesson i'm going to use these these questions okay okay so these are the three questions i'm going to answer using the pie chart on the left side of the screen so the the instruction for this uh, work is start the pie chart below and answer the questions that follows okay so we have got this pie chart as you can see we have got the segment in this circle for the train and we have also another segment for cars then we have got another segment for bus okay so we are going to answer questions coming from this pie chart so the first question is write the ratio of a let's write the ratio of train to bus write the ratio of train to bus so we're going to write the ratio of train to bus so that is the first question so what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this um, statement which is train to bus so the ratio for train to bus so we're going to check where um, the segment of train what is the number we have got for there so we're going to write for there then we're going to check the segment of bus we have got seven so seven is under uh, the segment of bus so we're going to write four to seven now that is the ratio for train to bus so i've come up with a ratio for train to bus which is four to seven okay so that is our ratio for train to bus which is four to seven question number two we are asked to write the ratio of cars to train in its lowest terms so we ask to write the ratio of cars to train in its lowest terms so i'm going to write the, um the statement which is cars to train now how many cars we are in the or how many cars uh the cars were under the segment of cars we have got six so i'm going to write six there then which is six to the number of train is four so i'm going to put six to four then six to four we are asked to write uh, this ratio we have already come up with a ratio of cars to train which is four to which is six to four we have come up with the ratio of cars to train which is six to four so we are going to reduce this ratio to its lowest term to do that we need to identify a number that can go into both numbers the highest common factor of six and four okay so the number that can go into six and four is two that is the highest common factor that two we are going to use it to divide six and four so i'm going to say six divided by two as well as four divided by two okay once we've done that then we're going to find the quotient so six divided by two give us three then which is uh, then uh, 4 divided by 2 which will give us 2 so we're going to have 3 to 2 so 3 to 2 is the ratio for cars to train and this ratio has been written into in its lowest form this ratio has been written in its lowest form so we have written we have reduced the ratio to its lowest term the actual ratio is six to four and then we have reduced it to its lowest term which has become three to two okay now let's go to question number three question number three is what is the ratio of train to bus to cars okay train to bus to cars so what we're going to do we're going to write that statement train to bus to cars so we're going to find out the number of train train we are told it's four 
then which is uh, the number of bus is seven so we're going to put seven there then the number of cars is six so the ratio for train to bus to cars is four to seven to six okay four to seven to six then we're going to underline that that is the correct answer and that is the ratio for train to bus to cars so basically this is how you can uh, come up with the ratios from pie charts okay thank you so much for watching it has been easy learning z mathematics the future is bright see you in the next video and god bless you